Breakfast the King today at 3.30. will break the $7,000 bank. Is this one of them? Or is it this one? Or this one? We'll find out in a moment in this game of hide and seek as these nine celebrities. A. Figura. Vanilla Hutton. Liz Torres. Greg Malaby. Jan Murray. Gail Fisher. J.P. Morgan. great week we're having with our nine celebrities and of course with our two players so let's get right to it johnny jacobs would you introduce our players we'll do it tom our current champion of course has winnings of more than three thousand one hundred dollars he's a probation officer bill gert <laughs> and his opponent is a self-employed potter whose hobby is glass blowing meet jim sanchez Welcome back to you, Bill Girth and to Jan Sanchez. And here is a quick explanation of Break the Bank. Here is what a typical board might look like. All the same denominations of money are grouped together, and they touch each other along one of the sides. The five money banks are scattered all over. The wild boxes anywhere can be used for any value. Get three of the same and you win. Get three money bags and you break the bank, which we're starting today at $7,000. We'll play for that after this. Now, Fantastic's Spray Cleaner with the adjustable Easy Trigger Sprayer introduces a big new money-saving extra, this economical half-gallon refill. It fills your Fantastic bottle not just once, not just twice, but almost three times. Ounce for ounce, it's like getting one full bottle free. Extra savings and the adjustable Easy Trigger Sprayer. Only Fantastic gives you both. Fantastic Spray Cleaner. When we ended our show yesterday, our game was interrupted, and here's what the exposed portions of the board looked like. Uh, we have two $300 boards there, or rather boxes, that belong to Bill Girth, which is signified by the mustache, and there's one blank there that has been revealed. For every question that you hear, one celebrity will give you a right answer, and the other celebrity will try to fool you. It's up to you to pick the right one, and the first player to get three of the same money boxes wins. And Jan, you are in control, so we'll go right back to you and pick another box. I'm going to go for number nine. Number nine. And she's possibly looking for a block. There is a $300 box, and it could be a block, a temporary one at any rate, for J.P. Morgan and for Greg Malaby. J.P., who was the first woman to campaign for the presidential nomination for a major political party? That was Eleanor Roosevelt. Greg Malaby. I would say it's my mother, but that's probably not true. <laughs> Margaret J. Smith. Jan Sanchez. Eleanor Roosevelt. No, it was Margaret Chase Smith. The box returns, or does it return, Bill Girth? Yes, it does. I'll go to number nine. He wants number nine. This, of course, would be for the game and $900 and a special surprise prize. Once again, for J.P. and Greg. J.P., in what mountain range would you find the tallest mountain peak in the world? That would be the Alps in Switzerland. Greg Malay. I would say the Himalayas and Nepal. All right, Bill, for the game, $900 and a special prize. I'll have to go with the Himalayas. You have won the game, yes, sir. $900. Well, Jan Sanchez, we have to say goodbye to you. We have very nice gifts for you backstage, and we thank you for playing Break the Bank. Thank you very much. You're more than welcome, ma'am. 
I said to you, Bill, that you would not only win $900, but a special surprise prize. Johnny Jacobs, tell him about it. Right, Tom and Bill, start packing your new luggage. Roper Starflight Molded Luggage, a six-piece woman's ensemble and four-piece man's grouping. The good-looking luggage that makes you look good. Lightweight but rugged, it resists stains, dents, and bruises. And you can take your luggage with you on your vacation in Mexico. You'll stay at the Holiday Inn Costco. Decorated in traditional and colonial style overlooking the city. 160 spacious rooms and suites, golf course, tennis court, and riding stable. Holiday Inn and Tusco Silver, capital of Mexico. Oh, how sweet it is. The bank was not broken. Another $500 goes into the bank. The next game will be playing for $7,500 right after these words. Put on your best tomorrow. Slip into a dial shower before anything else. You'll feel clean and crisp. Refreshed and ready. Dial soap helps you look your best. Do your best. You just can't buy a better deodorant soap than Dial. Or one that lasts longer. Beautiful. Aren't you glad you used Dial? Well, if there was just one friend to the customer, Marie would be it. What? We're closer than a lot of sisters I know, even though she is living out in California with her son now. We've built up a lot of memories in each other. We're very close. I'll be thinking about her, and the next thing you know, I'll hear from her. Or I'll call her, and she'll say, Oh, I was just thinking about you. Good friends are for keeps, so keep in touch. Long distance is the next best thing to being there. Hey, fever miseries. <laughs> Don't let them spoil your good times. Take Tristan tablets now. Tristan helps relieve more hay fever miseries. Inside, Tristan helps dry up watery, itchy eyes, runny nose, clear up sneezing and congestion, that constant drip in your throat. Then, unlike the leading allergy product, Tristan even relieves your headache. You feel better in minutes. Next time, take Tristan. Helps relieve more hay fever miseries, more than the leading allergy capsule or tablet. I found it. An upholstery cleaner with the name you can trust. Woolite Upholstery Cleaner. Foam's upholstery beautifully clean. Watch me clean half this dirty couch with Woolite Upholstery Cleaner. Use as directed, spray, sponge in, let dry, vacuum. See? Woolite side. Bright and clean. Great for sofas, chairs, even pillows. Woolite Upholstery Cleaner. Foam's upholstery beautifully clean. Our departing contestants will receive an assortment of candy, including Blamo, the only sugarless bubble gum in the chunk form that kids like. Extra thrifty, too, Blamo. Plus, a supply of America's favorite tomato juice. It's from Libby's, 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 America's favorite because it tastes so good. And rice aroni, the big flavor side dish that's so quick, so easy. Rice aroni, the one you saute and simmer to flavor perfection. Rice aroni, the San Francisco treat. Bill Girth is our current champ. He's our probation officer, and uh, he's married with four kids, and he has. Uh, cash and prizes. Incidentally, the prizes are range in the Oregon, the luggage, and the trip to Tosco, along with $1,500 for a grand total of $5,180. And now, let's meet now his new challenger, Johnny Jacob. Right, Tom, she's a homemaker whose hobby is painting in oils, Carolyn Bostrom. Welcome to our premises, Carolyn. And they tell me you are a grandmother as well. Yes, I am, two times. That's terrific. You're... One eight and one almost a year. Well, that's terrific. We're going to ask you, Grandmommy, to start off our game. Would you do that? All right. Okay. Um, I think I'll go with lucky number seven. Lucky number seven. Let's Maybe see if be. it's lucky. All right. Well, oh, no. not this time, Bill. Oh. Well, let's try number eight. <laughs> number eight, right next door to lucky number seven. There's a $100 box connected to Jan Murray and to Greg Malavy. Jan, if your doctor wanted to examine your coccyx, what would you have to take off? Oh, about 20 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you have to take your trousers off because the coccyx is a... It's, it's at the bottom, at the end of your spine. It's a, I see. I guess a bone or something, right at the end of your spine. It's the coccyx bone. Thank you, Greg. You're welcome. I didn't. You'd have to take off your coccyx. <laughs> oh. because, it's, because, it's, because it's your big toe. That's oh, I see. Bill? No, you have to take your trousers off. Huh? That's right. It is the end of your spine. And you have a
Find number 12. Number 12. All right, can we see box number 12 for Mr. Gurth? It's a $200 box, okay? Connected to Liz Torres and to Gayo Fisher. Liz, when a resident of Brooklyn wants to go to Manhattan, what would he most likely go through? Two muggings and a rape. <laughs> Transvestite ladies of the evening saying, Mira, soy tuya, 25 pesos, papi. Um... The Lincoln Tunnel. Gail Fisher? Oh, being a New Yorker. I know, it's a battery tunnel. Bill? Uh, can I hear the question again? Yes. When a resident of Brooklyn wants to go to Manhattan, what would he most likely go through? Your choices are the Lincoln Tunnel or the Battery Tunnel. Oh, the Lincoln Tunnel. No, sir, it's the Battery Tunnel. <laughs> and so that box returns to its neutral position. We're back to Carolyn. That was great. I'll go for number 12. She wants that $200 <laughs> box. And that's once again connected to Liz and Gail. Liz, who was the first woman to ever successfully swim the English Channel? Oh, uh, the first woman, the, uh, Gertrude Ederly. Gail Fisher? <laughs> Obviously, she doesn't swim. It was Florence Chadwick. All right, Carolyn. Shh, shh. Audience? Yes, Carolyn. I'll go with Ederly. Gertrude Ederly. That's correct. Oh. Gertrude <laughs> Ederly. You have a $200 box there, Carolyn. Oh. Take another box. All right. Let's go for, um, box number six. Number six, all right, could we see box number six? And there is a wild card. That can be used for any denomination, of course, but you must earn it, and it is connected to Abe Vigoda and Greg Malavy. Greg, I mean, pardon me, Abe. Poodles, commies, and knuckles down tight were some of the expressions found in this childhood game. What is the game? Marbles. Greg? Jacks. Carolyn? Marbles. Marbles, right. <laughs> Two $200 boxes. Mm -hmm. And if you find the third, you can win the game. So which box would you like to see? Well, let's go for 11. 11? All right. If that is another $200 box, she can win the game and $600 and it is. All right. So this is for your game, $600 and a special prize for Abe Pagoda and Gail Fisher. Abe, this president's inaugural address included the statement, I see one third of a nation ill-housed, ill-clad, ill-nourished. Name him. F.D. Roosevelt. Gail Fisher. It was Kennedy. Carolyn, this is for the game and $600 and a prize. May I hear the question? Yes, ma'am. This president's inaugural ad address included the statement, I see one-third of a nation ill-housed, ill-clad, ill-nourished. Your two choices are F.D. Roosevelt or Kennedy. I don't know, Roosevelt. That's it. You won the game. Yes, you there you are, Carolyn. See how easy it is to play this game? She's oh, just won yes. her first game, folks, at $600. <laughs> and Bill Girth, we have to say goodbye to you, but you take with you the range, the organ, the luggage, that trip to Tosco, $1,500 in cash for a grand total of $5,180. Well done. <laughs> I'm glad to hear you say that. You enjoy that. Now, Carolyn, we haven't found out about your prize yet, have we? No. We're going to find out right now, aren't we, Johnny Jacob? Yes, we are, Tom. And Carolyn, for your automobile, let's start with tires. Selected from one of 4,800 Western Auto stores, a set of five fiberglass velvet radial tires, Western Auto, the complete family store featuring items for home auto and leisure living, and a car stereo and television from Hitachi. This nine-inch portable TV operates on AC car battery or special battery pack, plus a high-fidelity cassette car stereo with a unique automatic reverse. Reversing system. That adds up to one thousand eighty dollars. You're doing beautifully. All right. No car? Well, we'll get to that. Incidentally, the bank wasn't broken, so another five hundred bucks goes into the bank, and so you know what that means. The next game is worth eight thousand dollars. That's what's in the bank. We'll play the game after this. Here are the leading furniture polishes, Behold and Pledge. Both are fine for shining, cleaning, and protecting, but...
When cleaning grease or wax marks, there's a difference. Pledge here, the hold here. Watch. The hold cleaned the mark better. There's another difference, money. The hold costs less than pledge. Behold, a lot of cleaning for less money. This sluggish drain is driving me bananas. Try the ounce of power. The ounce of power? The Drano ounce of power. How's it work? Easy. Just pour in one ounce of power, one five-cent tablespoon of crystal Drano. That's all? Right. Drano's concentrated crystals melt grease, dissolve hair, churn away that buildup. Drains run free again. Drano, you're terrific. The ounce of power, only from Crystal Drano, helps end problem drains. <laughs> oh, he's the master of the cheese souffle. Oh. <laughs> if you appreciate great cheese taste, mm. you'll like nacho cheese-flavored Doritos brand tortilla chips. <laughs> nacho cheese flavor. The crunch says Doritos. The flavor mm. says cheese. Nacho Cheese Doritos brand tortilla chips. One of three great flavors. You are incredible, woman. How do you do it? Dove for dishes. No, it... Dove suds really last. No, I did... Just a little goes a long way. I With all the dishes I wash, I need suds. No, that's and nice, but... Talk about no. sparkle. Why, don't... Why, don't... No, I didn't ask you how you got the dishes so clean. I asked you how you keep your hands so soft and pretty. He told you, Dad, Dove. Oh, Dove. The more you wash dishes, the more you need Dove. If you would like to see our show, or perhaps be a contestant, write to Break the Bank. Tickets, ABC Television, 4151 Prospect Avenue, Hollywood, California, 90027. That's where you Here's our champ, Carolyn Bostrom, who has in cash and prizes $1,080. And here is her new challenger, Johnny Jacobs. Who is this young man? Tom, this young man is a city planner whose hobby is mountain climbing. Meet Greg Evangelatus. Uh, hi, Greg. Well, Greg, with the way the world is growing these days, that must be a very exciting uh, profession. Yes, it is. There's a lot of possibilities in it. You bet there is. All right, sir, would you start us off here, Greg? Uh, can I try lucky number 13? All right, this time is lucky number 13. Could we see lucky number 13? Well, you talk about lucky. There's a wild card. And it's connected to Jan Murray and to Gail Fisher, but you must earn that. Here is your question, Jan. You have just bent your a pay. What have you been doing? <laughs> you know what I was doing, Tom. You're the one who straightened it out last time. <laughs> you know darn well what I was doing. I was playing lacrosse. That's when you use the epe. Gail Fisher? It is when you are on guard fencing. Greg? Lacrosse. No, sir. Fencing. Epe. And now we're back to Carolyn Bostrom. Number 13. I was going to say, <laughs> turn that around. She wants that wild card. Once again, to Jan and Gail. Jan, hurricanes need warm, moist air to get started. Now, for this reason, one month in particular has more hurricanes than any other uh, in the Atlantic hurricane belt. Name this month. Well, we just passed that month. It's May. Gail? It is the month after my birth. Month. September. Carolyn? September. That's it. September. You've earned the wild card. Take it out of the box, Carolyn. Oh, um, seven. Whatever it is, you've got Better double. Better not be a blank again. And could we see box number seven? Well, there is a money bag. That, with a wild card, would give you, in essence, two money bags, three break the bank, and the bank is at $8,000. Carolyn, what do you want to do? I'm going to turn it back. She wants to continue to play, which uh -huh. is her option. And... I'll go for 11. All right, box number 11, Carolyn wants. And there's a $100 box connected to Abe Vigoda and to Gail Fisher. And Abe, here is your question. According to studies, how many different, uh, how many major different types of headaches are there? With my wife, it's 365. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. She's a lovely woman, my wife. Uh, 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 <laughs> I'd say five. All right, Gail. Um, there's only one. 
Carolyn, this is for the $100 box. What was that question? Again? According to studies, how many major different types of headaches are there? And your choices are one or five. Five. That's right, five. And now you have two $100 boxes. We're going to the box, Carolyn. Oh, this is a choice. Um, I'll take the twelve. All right, she's looking. If this is another $100 box, she can win the game in $300 and a special prize. Could we see box number 12? Oh. And it's a blank. Greg, you are still with us. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Think about it. Let's go with number 17. All right, number 17, Greg would like to see. Could we see? There is a $100 box. All right, and that is connected to Liz Torres and to Buzz Aldrin. Liz, the shortest verse in the Bible appears in the Gospel of St. John. How many words does this verse contain? Eight. Buzz Aldrin. Two. All right, Greg, this is for the $100 box. Two. Two is right. Yes, sir. You've earned that $100 box. Those two words are Jesus wept. And now, Greg, next pick is yours. Uh, can I get box number seven, please? Number seven. Yes, certainly. Whatever you want. There's a money bag right there, and uh, you know your options. You can keep that, and if you get three of them, you break the bank at $8,000, or you can refuse and continue to play. Okay, I'll refuse and continue to play. Right. Can I get box number... D just, a sec just a second. Okay, go ahead. Box number 16, please. Number 16. All right. And could we see box number 16? And that, of course, is the third $100 box. And that, of course, would successfully block Carolyn. That box is connected to Abe Bogota and to Buzz Aldrin. Abe, in 1973, the Arabs imposed a ban of oil exports to the U.S. How long did the ban continue? Ooh. Five weeks. Buzz Aldrin. A lot longer than that. Five months. All right, Greg, this is for the successful block. Five right? months. That's it. Five months. Yes, sir. You blocked Carolyn in that category. Continue. Let's go with number five. Number five for Mr. Evangelatos, and there is a money bag. Oh. Let me turn that back in. All right, he wants to continue. Which one? Next. Can I get number nine? Well, of course you can. Could we see box number nine? There's a $300 box connected to J.P. Morgan and uh, to Greg Malavy. J.P., when the voters cast their ballots in the November 1972 elections, whom were they voting for as Democratic nominee for vice president? That was Sergeant Shriver. Greg Malavy. Tom Eagleton. Sergeant Shriver. Yes, sir. Sergeant Shriver. Now you have a $300 box. What's next? Could I go with box number four, please? Yes, sir. Box number four for Greg. And there is a blank. Back to Carolyn, who has one wild card going for. Well, I guess I have to go for number three. Number three for Carolyn. Could we see box number three? There's a $300 box, and that's connected to Jan Murray and Greg Malavy. Jan, in what year was the Congressional Medal of Honor first presented? In 1863. Oh, and I said, Greg, it's actually Ganilla Hutton. Ganilla, what is your answer to that? Please? Oh, uh, 1917. All right. Carolyn, 1863 or 1917? 1863. Yes, ma'am. You have a $300 box. With the wild card, you have two of them. Number eight to win. If this is the third $300 box, you can win the game in $900. Could we see box number eight? It is the $300 box. Connected to Jan Murray, and this time Greg Malavy. Jan, who is the famous singer who made My Blue Heaven a smash hit? My baby, you name it, seven, eight, three. It was Gene Austin. Greg Malavy. Uh, that, that, uh, Bing Crosby. This is for the game in $900. Carolyn, your answer? Gene Austin. You won the game! Greg, you fought some kind of a battle there, my friend. You did very well. We have some nice gifts for you backstage, and it was a pleasure meeting you. Greg Evangelato. Thank you very much, sir. Carolyn Boston. Another game, another $900, and another prize. Johnny, what is it?
It's an elegant oriental rug from Emser International Los Angeles. This magnificent oriental design rug of 100% plush wool pile to beautify your home from Emser International of Los Angeles. Very well done, Carolyn. Auto tires, car stereo, TV, oriental rug, and all that money, and it adds up to $2,780. Yes, indeed it does, and she'll take on a new challenger. Oh, incidentally, the bank wasn't broken. Another 500 goes in there. The next game, we're playing for $8,500. Don't you go away. <laughs> How do you do? I am half a sugar. Pillsbury squoze me in half to make squoze. Squoze? The new family drink mix with just half the sugar and calories of most pre-sweetened mixes. Delicious. <laughs> then, with half the sugar, they squoze the 10-quart can. They even squoze the price. So it costs less and tastes great. New squoze from Pillsbury. With me, half the sugar. Carolyn Bostrom, current champ, has auto tires, car stereo, TV, oriental rug, $1,500 in cash for a grand total of $2,780. And she's also earned the right to take on a new challenger, Johnny Jacobs, of Unity Center. Mr. Will Tom, he's an electrician whose hobbies are skiing and bowling, Jim Rogers. Hey, Jim. My kind of a guy, skiing and bowling. And we're happy to have you with us. You're currently working as an electrician, huh? This is just for me. I know this has got to be one of the oldest questions asked of our astronaut, Buzz Aldrin, over here. But I watched, incidentally, the, mo the movie on ABC based upon your book, Return to Earth, and it was just a beautiful, beautiful story and well done, incidentally, by Mr. Robinson. Buzz, everyone asks you the same question. I have not had the opportunity. May I ask you how it felt to step out on the moon? I'm really serious about it. Uh, well, there are lots of ways to approach that. Uh... I'd say that uh, I had the feeling that uh, here were two people so far away from uh, the rest of humankind and uh, any two people had ever been. But at the same time, we were most aware that uh, we were two people perhaps watched at that particular time by more people. And there was a great irony to that. There was a bit, and I think these people who were in entertainment business would recognize this, a bit of a center stage uh, feeling where uh, we were certainly aware of all the people who were watching us, and uh, it uh, took a bit to get adjusted to that. Pleasure to have you with us, sir. See you next time, folks. Bye-bye. Our departing contestants will receive a his and hers bright watch band wardrobe, including fashion watch straps, high-quality expansion bracelets, and fine leather watch bands from Bright, plus post-grape nut flakes, a hearty breakfast cereal with a delicious taste of crisp whole wheat, grape nut flakes for your next breakfast, and Weldwood Plus 10 contact cement, strong, economical, versatile, and completely safe. Weldwood Plus 10 helps you get the job done easily, quickly, and with professional results. Enjoy double action tonight with Beretta and Starsky and Hutch. Tonight, starting at 9, 8 central on ABC. This is 